Sarah hits a tennis ball of mass of 0.06 kilograms parallel to the ground at a velocity of 8 meters per second towards Nathan. He hits the ball back towards Zara, but lobs it in the air so that it leaves the racket at 6 meters per second and with an elevation of 45 degrees to the horizontal. Find the magnitude and direction of the impulse of Nathan's hit. So we have a tennis ball here. Hits it, uh, Zara hits it towards Nathan and then Nathan hits it but lobs it into the air at an angle of 45 degrees with a velocity of 6 metres per second. If we introduce an IJ, then obviously this velocity will be minus 8 because it's going against the arrow of J. So the initial momentum is equal to MU, which is going to be 0 0.06 times minus 8I. which is going to be minus 0.48i newton second. The final momentum will be mv, which will be equal to 0.06. Now, this will be split into different components, so it's going to be 6 cos 45 of i, this component here, and 6 plus 6 sine 45 of j, which is this one here. So that gives me 0.2545 of I plus 0.2545 of J Newton seconds. Let the impulse be known as J, and then we use J for impulse. We know that FT is equal to MV minus MU, and FT stands for impulse, so this bit here is J. So J will be equal to M, MV, which is 0. 2545i plus 0.2545j minus mu which is minus 0.48i so collecting these two components together we're going to get the j is 0.7345i plus 0.2545j now the magnitude of, of, of the impulse will be the magnitude of that vector so it'll be 0.7345 squared 0.2545 squared and we take the square root and we're going to get 0 0.777 newton second and the direction relative to the horizontal will be theta which is tan to the minus 1 of the j component, that component divided by the i component so that will be 0 0.2545 divided by 0 0.7345 which gives me 19.1 degrees